So, then I'm back. Sophistic Mystic. Today about a little history or some hints of the magic squares in the Islamic history. Because many of us, we think, oh no, those squares, they are very, maybe either they have been very late put into the Islamic context or I don't know but as we can see behind me I'm sitting especially today in front of this um, poster you can see maybe some of you know it this is the turban of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and the interesting thing is we have all the things, I mean it's in the museum, his stuff, no, it's a very popular photograph, what is this, maybe the, this is his, for probably his clothing, no, and the turban, yeah, okay, and you can see there, stick attributed to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and so on, written everything, now, The important point here is this one, the banner. It's a copy of the banner attributed to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu yeah? So it's a copy of the banner. And what do we find in this copy? Here you have those squares and the numbers. Yeah. So I made this video probably um, for all the people who are like doubting or whatever. I mean, there are more hints on this. Yeah. Um, on this topic, but this is one short hint. So everyone who is like in doubt about this, maybe this one, if you research this, Museum, maybe, if you are really, really on the on the critical side, you can research one, when the copy was done and so on. But for me personally, it's a great hint that a museum puts such a copy into the museum. Yeah. And I think someone told me it's in Pakistan, Pakistani museum. I'm not sure anymore, but... It's a famous copy, so if this is also hinting for you, it's great. Uh, and there are more hints, as I said, for those topics. See you soon. Subscribe to the channel. Peace and blessings. Sophistic Mystic. Beneath the Farn Bush. Salams. 33.